Yes, people. Another day, another transfer. Thank you very much for yesterday's stream. Uh, it went very, very well. Over 700 people watched it. And, you know, got over 30 likes, close to 40. Thank you very much. I appreciate that immensely from the bottom of my heart. Um, there's another transfer. I had to bring it to you. Uh, Mr. Fabrizio Romano is that it again. Uh, well, Chester, the player that plays for Southampton via Man City. He comes from Man City. And Man City have a buyout clause, I've heard, is what if they're interested of getting him back. So let's talk about this. Let's do this, people. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily contents. <laughs> Yes, people, what is going on? Please, before we start, hit that subscription button, notification button, and like button. Please, please, please follow us on our social medias, which are Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. So the player we're going to be talking about, it says it right there on the banner. It says, Romeo Lavia from Southampton. Um, Liverpool are working hard, work, working very, very hard of getting this player. Um... I'm 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 intrigued. You know what I mean? It's not like I know this player. I've heard of him. Uh, now a lot of people talk about him. Why don't Liverpool go for him? And uh, I'm 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 on the train so far. I'm on the train so far. He's only 19 years old. Uh, he come to Southampton via Manchester City, as far as I know. And Manchester City have a buyout clause to get him back to Man City anytime they want to trigger that before he leaves for someone else. Um, he, he, he arrived at Southampton in 2022, so he hasn't been there that long. Obviously, they got relegated. Although they got relegated, you know, uh, players can still be appealing to other teams. And uh, that's what it looks like with him. So Liverpool, according to Fabrizio Romano, let me, I don't know where's my mouse. Right there, uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, uh, and he says, understand Liverpool asks conditions of Romeo Lavia deal. There, they are in the race. Arsenal working on this deal for 15 days. No official bid from both clubs yet. Uh, May United, Chelsea, and Chelsea monitoring the situation, but not in active talk talks yet. So you can see this kid. A lot of teams are after him. And Fabrizio Romano is not one of those guys that makes up a lot of stories. Recently, he's been on point and he's been getting a lot of transfers through the door. And it looks like this player is um, wanted by Liverpool, from what I've heard. He's a he's a he's a midfielder. Obviously, I'm just looking on my side. He's a defensive midfielder, which we need. And he will work hard for the team. He's more of a possession-based player, and uh, he's very, very quick for his size. And um, the future looks bright for him. He's only 19, people. He's only 19. So I know Liverpool are going the cheap route, um, but this is Liverpool Football Club. What what can we do? You know what I mean, I've got to be honest, and and you know a lot of Liverpool fans have to be honest with themselves. This is Liverpool Football Club now. Until these owners leave and we get richer owners, this is the route we're going to have to go, and uh, they want us to accept it. I don't accept a lot of stuff, but it's their club at the end of the day, people. And um, until we could shaft them out, you know, see you later, sayonara. These are the transfers we're going to be going for. But listen, at least at least the kid's got potential. A lot of teams are after him, and a lot of Liverpool fans have talked about him, uh, as far as I'm aware. And uh, it won't be a regret if we if we get him. So Liverpool are, you know, monitoring the, the 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 situation with him. They want to ask like if we could talk to him, and the transfer budget that we could get him at Liverpool Football Club. You know, Southampton are no longer in the in the, in the Premier League. They're in the Championship now. So. The, the transfers like they used to have in the past that cost double the money that a player is worth would be you know less now and Liverpool can do something with that as well. In my opinion, we need more midfielders as I said and um, it will be difficult to buy the players that we want but if we could get them in a different direction which is a cheaper route 
just to make that midfield slightly stronger so so next season won't struggle as last season you know like we kept on like hoping players stay fit now if we've got the strength and depth we don't have to hope anymore there's always someone there that can come into the team and make it even even better or you know similar kind of way we're playing if you know what i mean if we're still winning and all that stuff as i said yesterday people liverpool need to start improving we have to and like i like i also said i want to challenge next season i'm not playing for second best i'm not playing for champions league spots or anything like that we don't have a new manager, people. We've got an old manager that's, the, that's won the league title, that's won the Champions League. So he has that experience of, you know, winning titles. It's no more like, um, oh, there's a new manager, so let's give him five years. That, that, that's not with me. And like, like I said yesterday, uh, we have to buy the players to compete. If we don't, then I'm worried. I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. And we've got to move past that. So, yeah, as you saw, uh, Fabrizio Romano did announce Liverpool are looking at uh, Romeo Lavia. So let's just hope something comes through, you know, uh, that door very, very soon at the access training ground. So yeah, so that's all I've got for you right now. Uh, some more transfer news will come up in the near future. But please comment down below and see, say anything you want to say. And um, hit that like button. It trends, people. Like once you hit it, as you can see with the viewings of the last videos, it trends around YouTube. More subscribers come to this channel and we'll be that step closer to 1,000 subscribers. Um, like I said, I've been doing this since two, 2019. I'm still here. I'm still giving you content, although you know it doesn't take. It takes a while sometimes. It's, just, it's working at life. Life, life hits you as well. So yeah, thank you to everyone. Honestly, thank you for everyone that that subscribed. Thank you to everyone that shares the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say. I can't say any more than that. Yeah. So till the next time. See you. I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Oh, let me take him out. Now it looks better, isn't it? Take care, take care.